Oh, 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 player segment getting busy. I just did the team segment, my top two teams for the week. Here goes the player segment, top freaking players. We're going to go over five of the boys that's making noise. Maybe I'll do a little more first time ever. I talked about it in the last video, Cleveland making noise. I talked about drumming 14.7 rebound per game. I know Rudy making some noise too, and and Greek is the Greek, right? But Drummond, almost 15 rebounds per game. Poof! No wonder they making some noise. Every time they miss, he gets it. So that's what makes sense there. Drummond is getting busy. What about points per game? You know, the man, man. I mean, the guy that really, really made the step back stupid. You know, after Steph Curry, it was James Harden. And maybe James Harden was before Steph Curry, but... The argument never fails to see where James Harden is in the scoring percentage. 39 points per game. Trey Trey out of Atlanta not playing around either. 34. And then Beal, another guy that'll shake and bake the shoes off of you, is getting 33. So I went over my five. So there he goes. Harden, Young, Beal, Drummond, assist. Now look at this, right? Harden, I'm not going to go over Jokic because of the record of the Denver Nuggets, but incredible for that dude to have 14 assists per game. It's sick. But James Harden, along with the 39 points per game, is giving you 12 and a half freaking assists per game. You hear me? I'm. There's no question. There's no question. Sixers, if he's available, what you doing, man? What are we talking about? What you doing? This guy is getting busy. James Harden continues to make some noise. Blocks per game, honorable mention. I want to talk about Miles Turner, Indiana. They also have a good record. Steals per game is still the same old, same old with that squad there. Um, Three-point percentage finally improving is C.J. McCollum. That's a, that's a big highlight. They were struggling last year. McCollum was struggling. Now looks like he may have Stella got the groove back regular season. Just need to see it. In the freaking um, um, playoffs, all right. The other guy, um, you know, Kyrie's Kyrie. Terry, Terry. I think it's Terry now, man. It is. He has a big contract. He's expected to be. But what about what about a surprise pick, man? After I went over all the big guys, there's two guys I want to mention here: Isaac Bonga and James Wiseman. Yeah, you heard it here first. Isaac Bonga. 83% from three in James Wyman. These are long athletic. I mean, Bonga is a total surprise. He's actually playing like you getting burned, bro. Yeah, he's getting burned. Isaac Bonga is getting burned and playing in Washington and doing well. James Wiseman is sick. What a pickup. Yeah, there's going to be some regrets out here for a lot of teams. Anthony Edwards, good pick. He hasn't shown up yet, but again, I, I, you know, you got to wonder what Wiseman and Towns inside, those Twin Towers, would would that have been so freaking stupid? I mean, but they, they got Nazri, my dude from Jersey. I know it's not – I, I got I to gotta hand it to James Wiseman as the better higher ceiling prospect, even though I got um, Nazri, you know, as, as one of the better up-and-coming center power forwards in the league out of Jersey. I know he has that talent, uh, you know, that Zach Randolph type of – you know, that inside-out type of game. He has handles, too. So, James Wiseman, Bonga, also big surprises for me this this season. And they're getting busy. It is what it is. So, that's all I got for this segment. Just giving everybody the heads up. Because I know we all working and doing a lot of different stuff. It's tough to get the info. I'm just going to give it to you. Harden, getting busy. Drummond, getting busy. Miles Turner is getting busy. And then Bonga and Wiseman, yeah, rookie Wiseman is getting stupid busy from the three-point line. I'm loving what I'm seeing. NBA's on, and I'm happy. I'm out of here. Peace. Yeah, Mikey, step back.